I built a personal assistant agent that can automatically reach out and call whoever I need and perform specific tasks on that call. This can be used for so many different use cases, whether you want this agent to call your leads and get them to book appointments for you, or if you just need it to do simple tasks like call your doctor or dentist or even a mechanic to just see when they have openings to get you in to schedule an appointment. Now, this can be extremely conversational and do more than just these simple tasks. It can answer questions on your business, ask specific questions to retrieve important information, you name it. Now, you can either have this agent manually triggered where all you have to do is send it a text or a voice note, or you can have it run on autopilot. So anytime a new lead is added to your CRM, for example, it will call their number or even send them an email, depending on the instructions that you are giving it. And it'll try to sell them on your services that you're offering. So the use cases are wide for something like this, and you can really perform so many ranges of different tasks. Nick Prio here, if you don't know who I am, Nick Prio here, if you don't know who I am, I'm on a mission to make scaling easy for businesses by helping them automate their operations and eliminate the need to increase headcount. So if you're a business owner and you want to automate your operations to drive revenue and create leverage, there's a link in the description that might be worth a look. So if that sounds like it'd make a difference, feel free to check it out. On top of that, if you're looking to join my community where we give you more in-depth tutorials, templates to all the agents and automations I built out, weekly calls, and a community of like-minded individuals all on the same path to becoming an expert at AI agents and automated systems, then I'll have a link down below where you can join that as well. So giving you a quick overview of the system. So we're using Telegram. So that's what we can text or call the assistant to essentially let it know what we want it to do and the actions to perform. It'll then send that over to the AI agent where it'll just determine the actions to take, whether that's sending an email or calling someone and also determining if it'll need access to the vector database. If you're unfamiliar with vector databases, it's essentially just an efficient way to grab requested or necessary information from a vast database of yours, like your CRM or company documentation, like policies, SOPs, directories, and so on. Now, the specific outputs we've set up is sending an email and obviously calling somebody. You can take this a thousand times further and build out much more expansive agents than this, where it can perform a plethora of different actions, like sending Slack messages, updating and creating documents, getting your calendar or emails from this week, and really anything else you'd ever need an assistant to do. Once any action finishes, so in this case, sending an email or a phone call or both, it'll then send me a text message to my number, just letting me know that the request is done or let me know that there was an error in a different scenario. So, which I mean, shouldn't happen, but I used Twilio in this example to showcase I just wanted to showcase the ability to using your own phone number to be alerted and trigger the system. Or, you know, you could just use something like Telegram, which I think is a bit more accessible for most of you guys um, because you don't have to hook up Twilio and all the extra associated steps that incur with it. Now, to get started actually building out this agent for yourself, you know, for personal use or for your company, I want to quickly highlight some of the different platforms and the different systems that we're going to be using. So the first one, obviously N8N, another one is Google Sheets, and this is just where we're going to be storing all of our you know, contacts for all the people we want to call and grabbing their emails. And we're also going to be using Pinecone to store this Google Sheet within. Another one is Vapi, where we'll be creating our assistant. And if you're not familiar with Vapi, essentially this is where it'll allow you to use AI to call all of your leads or you know whatever number you are giving it access to. And lastly is just Telegram. So this is what's going to be triggering our automation or the agent and going to be taking our request. So, you know, we could send voice notes, we can text it, and this is what it's going to trigger to take all the instructions from to give context to the agent. So obviously we're starting off with this Telegram trigger, as I just mentioned, and we're just quickly going through an if module. So it's just basically determining if it's grabbing a voice note, because if it is grabbing a voice note, you know, if I'm texting my phone or I'm sorry, if I'm talking to my phone, it's, you know, going to, it's going to have to transcribe that and, you know, take that information and give it to this AI agent because the AI agent, it can't itself take voice notes. So that's what we're using OpenAI to basically transcribe and, you know, we don't have to give it any, you know, specific context or any prompts. 
it'll just automatically take the file from Telegram and you know the JSON message file, and it will then give it to AI, which will then pass that to plain text and give that to the AI agent, which will then consequently take our information. So if I give you an example, if I test out this workflow, Within Telegram, we can either send voice notes or just text plainly. And this is also an app that you can download on your phone. So you can use Siri to text this assistant, or you know, if you wanted to use Twilio and just text a number instead, where you know you could just use Siri to automatically send a text to a contact on your phone, then you can also do that as well. But we're just keeping it simple and we're using this um, particular application. So I'm just gonna send a voice note and I'm gonna ask to send an email. So I'm going to say, send an email to Ryan Bryan asking for an update on the project brief and ask if he had a good time to meet sometime later this week. So we're going to wait for this to send off and I will check into here and we'll finish waiting for this agent to run. Okay. It just finished. So essentially it ran through, um, going through the top because it recognized that it was a voice note. So it went through, um, this little section right here where it's having to use OpenAI to transcribe the record. And I just had a text come up from my AI agent and basically it's saying email sent to Ryan Bryan, um, you know, just confirming everything and we could even check in Twilio seeing what the output has said. So we'll check that really quick. So once we open this up, we could see on the right side. So we have the table JSON or schema. We'll just look at this output through the um, table and I'll even blow this up a little bit further, but it says email sent to Ryan Bryan asking for an update on the project brief and if you had a good time to meet sometime later this week. So that's exactly what we are looking for and um, you know the email is now in the inbox. So down here is um, essentially where we're using the AI agent and we're just giving the context and everything. So giving a system message, essentially I'm just telling it to decide um, you know, which route it should go down, whether it should be sending an email or for it should be calling um, somebody's phone. And just down here, we're using a vector database. Um, I've uploaded plenty of videos in the past on how to use RAG properly uh, within your company. So check out that video if you're not familiar with using Pinecone. But essentially, like I said earlier, we were just uploading this database. So I actually blocked out the phone number, so um, I don't wanna give away my personal number. But we're taking all this information and just giving it to our vector database and storing it in there. So anytime that, you know, this agent needs to call somebody or send an email, it's going to go into the Pinecone vector store and it's just searching, okay, well, you received the name. So in that case, we said Ryan Bryan. So now it is matching up Ryan Bryan to the phone number. So just finding the corresponding details that it's needing to finish the automation. But I mean, if we're also if we're just using the telegram trigger, so if we're just texting the agent and if we're already giving it the number and we're already giving it an email, it won't have to go through um, this section down here. So that's that. And now we want to actually test out phone calling somebody. So what we'll do is we will go to test workflow and I'm just gonna go back here. And you know, instead of voice noting, um, we're just gonna send a uh, plain message. So we'll say, can you call Sam Altman? And, you know, we could be conversational about this, or we could just have him try to get him to book, a, book an appointment and see what, see if he's available at 5 p.m. or 8 p.m. tomorrow to set up a quick meeting. Um, yeah, I mean, we could even make more requests. So we could say, have it be conversational and try to get specific information from him. So I could also say, S, also ask him what his favorite color is. So we'll send that off and we'll wait for this to go through this phone call route. Okay, and as you can see, AI agent is calling me. So I'm gonna answer that really quick. This is Nick Pereski's assistant, Ella. Hi. Hey, Sam. I'm calling to see if you're available for a meeting tomorrow at either 5 p.m. or 8 p.m. Also, just curious, what's your favorite color? I'm actually not available at either of those times, and it's weird that you ask, but my favorite color is red. 
gotcha. Thanks for letting me know. How about we find another time that works for you? Uh, sure, I guess. What about, um, what about 4 p.m.? Sounds good. I'll schedule it for 4 p.m. Thanks, Sam. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so as you can see, now that it's finished up, it should be ending um, momentarily and then sending me a text message just notifying me that this um, call was held and um, it, you know, just answered all the actions accordingly. So it said, I called Sam Altman and confirmed that he's available for a meeting at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Additionally, I asked him what his favorite color is and he answered that it was red. If you need anything else, feel free to let me know. So that's just a summary of how this works. And, you know, the I hope you can imagine the wide use cases that you can use from this. So one of the biggest ones is replacing this with an STR, um, an STR role. So you won't need to have um, have to hire somebody, pay them 50, 60 grand a year to, you know, qualify, call your leads, um, even generate leads. Um, so obviously we didn't cover generating leads within this agent, but um, I will be coming out in the future with how you can do that. So obviously we're using Vapi to call them. So within this workflow, I wanted to cover this a little bit. So essentially when we're doing this um, custom tooling, so we're connecting a tool, um, phone, just um, calling somebody outbound. And what we're doing in this other workflow is we're first setting up an execute workflow trigger and we're basically giving it the parameters that we gave it from this um, previous node. So if we just scroll down here, we're giving it um, some specific JSON that's um, going to be um, the same as what's in this execute workflow trigger. And how you can actually edit that and input it for yourself is you just copy and paste it or type it in, in here. So we're inputting the type, the properties, um, such as first name, description, all that stuff. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. We're not gonna mess with it. And we're not gonna worry about this module. Um, this is particular to what I set up. So it was just if the phone number included a plus sign or not. But within this next module, what we're doing is we're inputting the URL. So just copy and paste this if you're um, if you're using Vapi yourself. Otherwise, um, if you're using Synthflow, it'll look a little bit different. Synthflow is just another AI calling tool, outbound and inbound. So for the URL for Vapi, what you'll do, you'll just put in HTTPS, um, put in some backslashes, and you'll put in api.vapi.ai slash call. For the authentication, we'll just leave that as none, we'll input our API token here, and we will also input um, a JSON body. So here, I will blow this up a little bit further. We're essentially just putting in our assistant ID. So we got our assistant ID from, uh, where is it? Up at the top right here. So we'll just copy that. And to get your phone number ID, you will do the same thing. Copy this from the very top and you can just put it straight into the phone number ID at the bottom here. Simple stuff right there. Um, you know, you might have to make a few runs to ensure that you're inputting the right parameters and everything. But you know, next up, what this um, this HTTP request is going to be is a get method, and this is essentially going to check the call and the status to see if it's ended or not. Because once it's ended, that's when it's going to start giving the summary and giving it back to my AI agent. So we constantly have to be making requests to see if the call is still going on or if the call is finished. And the way we do this, so we just make a API request to api.vapi.ai/call. Then we input the ID of our previous node. Um, so this HTTP uh, node right here. And, you know, we're checking if it's ended. So we're doing another if um, little module. And if the JSON status is ended, or if it's not equal to, then it's going to wait. Um, otherwise, it's going to send a summary. So if it's waiting, it's just going to wait another three to five seconds and, you know, check again if the call is finished or not. So that's essentially what's going on right there. Um, but we'll back up and go to the AI agent. And, you know, there's so many different use cases, as I've mentioned 10 times now, that, you know, it's not just limited to these two tools of sending an email and phone calling somebody. Um, you know, one of the biggest and most important use cases I can foresee right now is calling all of your leads and trying them to get them to buy your services or sell them a product, whatever you're offering. Um, or maybe you're just a busy, a busy operator and you need to have this 
make some phone calls for you. So call your employees or if you want this agent to, you know, call your doctor and get it to see if they had information on your prescription or anything of the sort. But essentially, that's how you build out this agent. Um, I know it's not similar to what I've done in the past where we've gone step by step into, um, you know, showing you how to do it step by step from completely scratch. But, you know, I wanted to save some time. And um, if you are in interested in getting this template and, you know, just copying and pasting it into your own systems, I will have it in my new community and I will post a link down below in the description for that. So if you're interested in finding a community like that, where you can get access to the templates and weekly calls and, you know, just a community of like-minded individuals, like I mentioned, there will be a link down below in the description. And, and also, if you're a business owner and you want to automate your operations to drive revenue and create operational leverage within your business, there's also a link in the description that might be worth a look. So if that sounds like it'd make a difference, feel free to check it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.